All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson 17. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue comparing two three-digit numbers. And again, using that less than, equal, and uh, greater than symbols. Um, <coughs> the difference, though, this time is uh, the numbers are gonna be not in your traditional format. You know, 203, that's a traditional formatted number. Uh, but we're gonna also be comparing numbers written un untraditionally, unconventionally, like 21 tens. And we're gonna be comparing these two numbers. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna draw each of these two numbers using place value disks. So this first thing says draw 13 ones. Well, that's gonna look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's our ten ones. But then we're also gonna draw three more. And I kind of scooched off the page, but that's okay. So there's our thirteen ones, and we need to draw two hundreds. So there's our two hundreds. Teachers, notice I'm leaving the tens place blank. We're not worrying about labeling ones, tens, hundreds, although it would be a perfectly fine thing to do. Now we're going to model this number over here. It says draw 12 tens. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's our 10 tens. And then we're going to draw two more tens, and there's our 12 tens. Now we're supposed to draw eight ones, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Parents, teachers, notice that I am writing these in the 10 frame format. I'm doing a line of five and a line of five, and I'm doing that very intentionally <clears throat> because we want to just always emphasize that tens, the, the place value of tens, right? Okay, so now both of these numbers need to be simplified because we know that whenever you have ten of one number, ten disks, you can always exchange it for one disk in the next column over. In this case, let's see, ten ones can be exchanged for one ten. So these guys have been exchanged for one ten. Similarly, we have ten tens, and those ten tens can be exchanged for one hundred. So now we're easily a we're, we're we can easily compare these numbers. So I see that this guy has two in the hundreds place. This guy only has one. So automatically we know this guy is larger than this guy. Oh, by the way, I should say these are no longer here because they got cashed in. So getting back to my thinking here, this tells us that the 200s are larger than the 100s. So automatically this whole number is larger than this number. And so this is the symbol. So this number is greater than this number. Now they just want us to do a bunch of the practice doing that same thing. Uh, so let's take a look at, oh, let's take a look at question B. So we're going to do a place value chart. Let's see, there, there's my place value chart. Ones, tens, and hundreds. I like to label. And then we'll do another ones, tens, and hundreds. Ones, tens, and hundreds. And let's model both of these numbers. So let's start by modeling 236. So 236 is going to look like 2 in the hundreds column. 100, 100. Then it's going to look like 3 in the tens column, 10, 10, 10. And lastly, 6 
in the ones column. And notice I'm doing that in the 10 frame format. So five groups, groups of five, right? And now let's model this number. Okay, and I'll do it in blue just to be different. And help us contrast these two numbers. Now it says 23 tens. Oh my goodness. So that means we're going to do 10, 23 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh goodness, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then, oh, I need three more, goodness, one, two, three. I'm going to switch to red just to distinguish the ones. And uh, teachers, notice I'm, I'm doing a shortcut here. I'm not writing in the tens like I really should be. And we know that any time you have ten, in one column you can cache them in. So 10 tens can be cached in for 100 and here 10 tens can be cached in for 100 and so what do we end up with? Interestingly enough, this is kinda cool, uh, I'm gonna do it in, oh let's do it in green. So this guy has two hundreds, this guy has two hundreds. So it's a tie so far. By the way, these guys are no longer here because they got cashed in. And these guys are no longer here because they got cashed in. Now let's look at the tens. He's got three tens. This guy still has three tens left over. It's still tied. But finally we found the, the tie breaker is in the ones place. This guy has six ones, but this guy only has five. So that automatically means that 236 is greater than 23 tens and five ones. So teachers, what's the point here? The point is to take your numbers, model them. Sometimes after you've modeled it, you have to do some converting. You have to cash in some of your chips so that you can simplify the two numbers and that makes it easier to compare. Now we can easily compare the two numbers. Just one more example. Um, oh, let's do question L. Let's do L here. And so we're going to make two place value charts. All right. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and make this a little easier. So this is our ones, ten, and right here we're going to do our hundreds. And then we're going to label this other one way over here. Let's zoom in and label ones, tens, and hundreds. So now, now that we've drawn our two charts. Now we're ready to start modeling. So let's begin by modeling 800's 13 ones. So 800's 13 ones. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to draw the discs. I'm not going to fill them in with either the number 100 or the number 10 or the number 1. 800's gives us 8 in the hundreds place. 13 ones gives us 13 in the ones place. There it is. And let's do this in red. Now we're going to model 75 tens. Oh my goodness. Well, 75 tens. I'm going to do some quick tens. So I'm going to say here's 10 circles. Here's 10 circles. 10, 10, 10. So I'm imagining this to be. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's keep going. 60, 70, tens. Plus, I'm supposed to draw five more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so there's my 75 tens. Let's do a little bit of simplifying here. Well, we see 10 ones. Those can be cashed in for 1, 10. So these guys disappear. So what do we end up with? We end up with 8 in the hundreds column, 1 in the tens column, 
and 3 in the 1s column. Similarly, these 10 right here equals 1 in the 100s column, plus these 10, these 10, these 10, these 10, these 10, these 10. So we have 70 that can be cashed in for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 in the hundreds column. So those guys disappear, leaving us with 7 in the hundreds column, 5 in the tens column, and nothing in the ones column. Now, this is a curious thing. Teachers, don't let your students get confused. This looks like a, this is a disk saying that we have one in the tens column, but this is looks like a disk, but now it's a zero. So don't let your students get confused and mixed up between the difference between a disk and the number zero. That's kind of tricky. I just noticed that. And so what is our comparison? Well, we can see that eight hundreds is bigger than seven hundreds, so automatically that tells us we need to use the greater than symbol. And that wraps up second grade module three lesson 17 using the less than greater than and equal than equal symbols to compare some pretty unusual numbers things like 21 tens versus the traditional number like 203.